50 years ago, we started Brookmead Sod Farm. I grew up in Henrico County in Richmond on a grain and beef cattle farm and learned about farming. And then I went to Virginia Tech, majored in agronomy and specialized in turf management. When I got out of school, my dad said, why don't you put the farm and the grass knowledge together? And that's how we started Brookmead Sod Farm. We met in Richmond on a blind date. I'm from Northern Virginia. And I don't think I ever saw a tractor much before I drove it. <laughs> we were fortunate that Ginger was an RN and made the money and I spent it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make enough, but he knew what he was doing. We were lucky that Richmond did not have a sod farm when we started. This is the tall fescue, which is a winter grass. It's a, called a cool season grass. It grows well all year long. These two are summer grasses and love it when it gets hot. The Bermuda grass is very aggressive. Um, a lot of people call it wire grass, but it is a Bermuda grass. And it's best used on athletic fields and golf courses. Why? Because when they take the divot with the golf club out, it spreads back real fast. This is Zorgia grass, which is a very thick lawn grass. It likes sunny areas, doesn't like shady areas. Our tall fescue is seeded from a seed that we specially blend for our farm. So some of our sod is on a one-year program, some is on a two-year program. When we harvest the sod, we have a machine that digs below the ground about three quarters of an inch for tall fescue. We wring it up a conveyor belt and it's rolled and stacked on the back onto a pallet. You always say on your lawn, the grass always builds up above your sidewalk. That is what we're cutting off. So it's not the soil depletion that you would think. That is why we've been here 50 years without adding any new topsoil. People are spontaneous. They want to get it now. They, you know, they call, can I just stop by and pick up? And they don't understand that we need to harvest it. We want them to pick it up the day they're going to put it down. So we harvest in the morning. Um, and one day's notice isn't a whole lot of notice. We, get, we mostly deal with landscapers and um, homeowners that come in here as far as farm pickup. Our minimum order is one square yard. So we're willing to cut as minimal as they want. When I first came here, the woman was going on a houseboat and she needed sod for her dog. So that's one of my favorite stories. I was like, do you know how to take care of it? And she wasn't really good to take care of it because she just needed it for the dog. In the fall, we sell the same seed as their sod is grown from so they can overseed their lawns if they wish or, or seed in another area. Yes, I have three full-time mowers and a few more too. I love grass. I love the good product and I like to see it being grown. Grass industry is changing so much. It's important to us that grass is environmentally friendly, that it produces oxygen. If you go someplace and it's hot and you go out on cool grass, it just makes you feel better. One other benefit of sod in the Richmond area is erosion control. And that's a big thing for the Chesapeake Bay, it prevents it. Vacation together, we worked 
together, we've raised our family together. And it's just, it's just been wonderful. My mom told me to marry him and she was a smart lady. <laughs>